Good morning and welcome to the Dairy Church Kitchen. Today we're going to make some critter crudités. What we're going to use, or use anything in your kitchen, we're going to use cucumbers today, kiwis, nut um, almonds and cashews, assorted grapes, and some oranges. Okay. Cream cheese or peanut butter, whatever you would like. Now, critters always need to have little eyeballs. So this is a Wilson um, decorating item that you can get in um, the cake decorating department of stores. They're kind of fun. We're gonna use celery and some apple. Okay. All right. Now, before we start, I am going to try to show you how to take the skin off of a kiwi. I hope this is ripe enough to do this, but you take off the ends, regular teaspoon, you put it between the flesh and the shell of your kiwi, and then you rotate it in your hand. Now, depending on how big your kiwi is, you may have to do it on both ends. And then you push it out and you can cut it for your um, fruit salad or just slice it and, and eat it. Okay. Now, to make our little critters, we're going to stuff some celery with cream cheese. Now, I just used the block of cream cheese, which I find is really pretty difficult to, you know, to spread. But if you're using a knife, that probably wouldn't be too bad. Okay. And what should we make? Uh, let's make a caterpillar. And we'll give him a head. And that's the body. We'll use a nut and secure that in there in the channel of your celery. Now, we're going to try to keep these little eyes on your... your cashew or your almond. Or you could actually use ra raisins too. Something small. And there you have your little caterpillar. <laughs> Okay. I want to see him front on there. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Cute. Nice. Okay, so we'll put them over here. I think I'm going to use peanut butter because that's much easier to <laughs> work with. And We'll fill your celery with peanut butter. Uh, let's put a orange. And we'll use a grape and our little wiggly eyes. Or raisins, whatever you like. <laughs> and there you go with a snail. <laughs> this is a good project if um, you, the children can even learn to start cutting their their own fruits and vegetables to help you out in the kitchen. And let's see. Mm 
choose a cucumber. I'll make another little snail here. And then again, you would put your eyes on. That's what I should do. Just put a blob there. See if that works. They are very cute with these eyes. And there you have oh another. Oh my gosh, the eyes make it. <laughs> <laughs> Super cute. And also with the. Um, Caterpillar, you might want to use black olives if your children like olives. And we, you can slice an apple. And I have no idea why this knife is... So is it leave it in a circle or that apple is kind of big. Put that right in the canal. Add your grape or olive or whatever. Now, if you have a small piece of celery, you can even use the small tomatoes and make a little bug. Oh, this one, I think that one's my favorite. <laughs> Should we make one with the, one more with the um, kiwi? Let's see. I left the skin on these just because the kiwi is just so soft. the critter look like it's got fuzz on it. Yeah, it does. But just make it with whatever vegetables are available or fruits. And it's <laughs> a <laughs> little guy. <laughs> Very cute. So I hope you enjoy that. Remember Jesus and germs are everywhere. Wash your hands and say your prayers.